Just gonna make a quick video here for those of you who still rip old sleds. This is a 1996 Articat Cougar 550. Uh, should be similar for the ZRs, I believe. Um, this is, like I said, a, a Cougar 550. Um, I, it might help for other models as well. But just a quick little rundown on how to remove this seat. It just got reupholstered, it looks pretty good. Um, it was about 100 bucks for the cover and I actually had somebody else do it, um, which was nice because I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, I should put a clip of what this thing used to look like in here. Um, anyways, to get this seat cover off, um, actually the tank and the seat come off as one. At first, you can obviously remove the foam and all the staples, but in order to get to that, you gotta take the whole assembly off. So on this particular model, there's two screws here. They're Phillips head, one, two. So you're gonna go ahead and remove those. Now on the side, there's gonna be two 11 millimeters. Um, there would be one, I'm putting it back together now. Two, and then the last ones are the 11 millimeters inside here. Um, there's two of those. So I would start with these two. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, and then pop those off. And then you can actually just pry this plastic up because the tank goes in like this and like this. So if you just pop the plastic up on either side, you can actually slide the tank out. Now when you slide it, keep in mind your tail light is still wired in. Um, and that tail light wire runs all the way underneath and plugs in up here. So I would slide it back a little bit, lift it up, and then unplug that prong from underneath. And then you should be good to get your seat off and your tank off. Um, another thing you're going to want to do ahead of time is drain the tank, or at least siphon out the most of it. I didn't. Um, there's a little nub that comes out of here. There's a small fuel line. You can see it poking through the firewall, if you will, right here. And then there's a little fuel filter that goes into a uh, petcock or shutoff here. Um, and I had an almost full tank, and I slid this thing backwards, popped the fuel line off, and went to take it. To, to drain it into the fuel tank. There's like seven or eight gallons in this thing and the fuel um, tank runs all the way down into here. It's actually a, a full compartment um, under the seat too. So you're basically sitting on the tank. My point is there's a lot of gas in there. So if you can keep yourself from trying to lift up this heavy tank or just spill it all over the ground, then it might help you out. But hope this helps. Thanks, good luck.